Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A level maths videos. This one's about interior and exterior angles. So, what are they? Well, here's an interior, here's an exterior angle in this picture I for interior, E for exterior. I Interior just means inside, doesn't it? So, the angles inside a shape are the exterior angle, interior angle, sorry, and Exterior angles are just the ones on the other side of an interior angle. So to get an exterior angle, what you do is you continue any one of the sides of your shape. So I'm continuing this side, dot, 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 okay. And on the other side of the interior angle, you get your exterior angle. Another way of saying that is in interior and exterior angles add up to 180 degrees because angles on a straight line are 180 degrees. Half a turn is 180 degrees. So interior and exterior should add up to 180 degrees. So now you know what they are. Let's talk about exterior angles first because they're the easier ones to work out. Because they follow this very simple rule that exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so this exterior angle plus that plus that plus that plus that exterior angle add up to 360. And what I've done is I've uh, copied and pasted these angles and put them together and you can see they go round in a circle uh, and they make up a perfect 360 degrees. You can probably just see that from this windmill sort of shape that's going all the way round that shows you that the exterior angles would have, will add up to 360 degrees. And if you imagine even more side you still get this windmill effect and they'll all go round and add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so the more sides you have, the more angles you have, the smaller they will be, but they'll always add up to 360 degrees. Now if you have a regular shape, okay, or what they, what they normally say is a regular polygon, a polygon is just a many-sided shape, okay? So a regular shape is one where all the angles and the sides are equal, okay? Now, when we come to ex interior and exterior angles, we're really talking about the angles, so we're more interested in the fact that all the angles are equal. So if I've got um, 10 sides, for example, okay, and it's a regular shape, that means all the angles are equal, so you've got 10 equal angles, that means each angle must be 36 degrees, because 360 divided by 10 equal angles gives you 36 degrees each, so each one would be 36, 36, 36, 36. Okay, so that's exterior angles explained nice and easy, okay. Um, interior angles, as we said, are the angles inside a shape, so the interior angles uh, of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, which you should know. Uh, the interior angles of a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, add up to 360 degrees, which you should know also already, hopefully. Um, and a pentagon, its interior angles add up to 540. These are just example angles, just to explain how it all works out, okay? Now, um, Here's a rule to work out the interior angles or the total interior angles. So I had to pause the video for a second. So I was going to work out the total interior angles for any polygon. It's a closed shape basically, yeah? So any shape, um, however many sides, okay? So how do you do that? Well, you'd notice I've done these dotted lines uh, through some of the shapes, and all I'm really doing is turning it into triangles. That's why you don't see a dotted line here. This is already one triangle. Now, a four-sided shape can be made into two triangles, okay? Um, and a five-sided shape can be made into three triangles like that. Now, what's going on? Why am I making it to triangles? Because if we uh, accept that the interior angles are of a triangle 180 degrees, okay, then we can move on to the fact that with a four-sided shape, which can be cut into two triangles, okay, now you notice that the interior you could you could work out the interior angles for this shape. Okay, and uh, this side of it, this triangle here, and you can work out the interior angles for this side, and you will notice, of course, that this triangle and this triangle are sharing these 
the interior angles of these two. But altogether, these two triangles, their interior angles should add up to the total interior angles for the whole shape. So this is if this is 180 and that's 180, 280 is make 360. So that's true. We, so it's this, tri this idea seems to work. And if I have three triangles where each of the triangles are share the, the three triangles together are sharing the interior angles for the whole shape, okay, uh, there's 180 there, there's 180 there, and there's 180 there. And 3 what, times 180 makes 540. So you've got the interior angles for a five sided shape. Now you'll notice um, this has got three sides, which gives you one triangle. This has got four sides, which gives you two triangles and five sides gives you three triangles so if you do the number of sides take away two okay so five sides take away two is three three is the number of the triangles four sides take away two is two which is two triangles okay so if you take away two from the number of sides that gives you the number of triangles and if you times it by 180 you get the total interior uh, yeah the total interior angles of that shape because 180 degrees per triangle and that's the number of triangles okay which gives you the total interior angles so that's it really um anything to explain uh, i can't think of anything else thank you very much for listening